do we do with a boy? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. That's really? country singer Janet Crane and her husband Mike Cawson celebrating to find it out. They're expecting a Yay! baby boy. Well, Janet yeah. and Mike, they're in a good place right now, but guys, through the years, they face their obstacles in their relationship, which they talk about openly. Yes, they join us now for a special fall in love segment with their therapist, Leslie Gustafson, mm -hmm. to discuss how to rebuild your relationship and how to move forward, right? Welcome. Good to see you guys. Guys, first of all, everybody here. goes through something. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad y'all yes. are just talking about it. How did y'all meet Leslie? What was the first thing that had to be discussed? So we <laughs> actually met um, doing our podcast. So yeah. we've been very open on our podcast, obviously, about um, our troubles. And mm -hmm. uh, we had the pleasure of meeting Leslie. She was one of our guests because she has an intimacy box that she does. So um, mm -hmm. it's all about connecting couples together through, again, whether like everyone has problems, but um, just being able to connect couples. And so she's been, she's been a godsend for that. And, and just <laughs> to bring it back to what the issues were, when you were pregnant with your first, you found out that's when Mike was cheating, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, of course, been a hard, difficult time, but you've stuck together, you're working through it. What was it that kept you there, Jana? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> therapy. therapy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, is I tell him this too. As much as I I hated him, I loved him so much, and I believe that if if he could do the work, and that if I could do the work, that we could we could keep our family together. Because we had you know a, a baby at the time, baby little baby girl, and yeah. I really I really wanted to fight for our family, but I saw him want to fight too, and that was really important yeah. for me to see. And a lot of people have you know called in the podcast or emailed in and asking Jana, you know, what was that one moment? And what we've explained to people is for both of us, it was never one particular moment that was like, okay, this is the aha, I'm definitely gonna stay. It was yeah. a consistent process, even now. You know, for us to see the work in each other and to make sure we're both growing separately and growing together is it's been a constant, uh, constant effort. We want everybody to learn from this. Let's bring in Leslie yeah. here. How can you improve your intimacy? You're going to give us some steps. And number one, Absolutely. there have to be two willing partners, yes. which they were. Yes, and you're hearing that with the two of them because it, this is a hard road that they've gone through. I actually think it's an opportunity on the flip side because not every couple gets into a hardship and has the opportunity to really get deeper and really bond and really work it through. And these two have, and it's such an incredible inspiration for other couples because it's entirely possible when two people step up and they surrender and they try and they do the hard work of working through the hard feelings together and staying together through it till they can trust again. And I guess one of the things you say is you've got to be willing to be vulnerable with each other. And I know, Jana, with you, it's it's been hard getting that intimacy back and you know, I think Leslie, you've helped with the intimacy box, but you've said like when when Mike doesn't want to have sex with you, it's that's a hard thing for so you. You're like, well, why don't yeah. you don't want to have sex with me? Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of triggers, and again, like that's, I have to do my work on on that side. But then he, you know, he's doing his work too mm -hmm. to figure out where that comes from, and you know, I'll let you speak. Yeah, on and that's the unfortunate part of, of our of our story is because of because of the issues that we've had is because of my intimacy issues now it triggers her even more because of our past you know and so that's just something i've always struggled with in relationships is being intimate and, and connecting love and sex and all that together that just didn't never click for me that's just how i was because sex for you was what what was sex because i mean you for you Not you went to sex you went to a sex addiction there uh rehab right, right. Yeah, yeah for me for me it was i never correlated the two mm. and that's just the way in, in any relationship for whatever reason in my life that's just how things worked in my brain i didn't correlate love and sex mm -hmm. and so now to do that I, that's the thing i told jana like i want to i want to be willing to do those things but it's just something about my body i get anxious i get uncomfortable and i don't want to feel that way and that's why you know for me personally i'm willing to dive in and work with leslie and work with whoever mm -hmm. to kind of overcome all that well, what mm -hmm. about preparing yourself for sharing this story right because that we hear this like the the i've been cheated on story from women a lot right mm. or even i have cheated story from women a lot but we never really hear from the guy who's still in the relationship mm. how did you prepare yourself for okay we're going to be open and honest about this <laughs> and i'm gonna take a lot of heat i'm sure yeah yeah it took yeah. some time especially initially there's a lot of shame behind it obviously mm. anyone who's a perpetrator in any relationship they don't want anybody to know mm -hmm. and that's mm. how i was with jana i was like like stop don't tell anybody like let's keep this tight unfortunately obviously things came out us weekly cover and, and so on so mm. i couldn't really control much of that so after a while after like the first year we came to a place where it's like you know what I can't, I have to own it. I can't hide from this anymore. I did what I did. 
this is the only way I can do it to kind of get, let our relationship go forward. And so that was really when Jana and I started to grow is there's no secrets. We're not hiding from anybody. We're not hiding from each other. Let's just put it all out there. Yeah. And also Jana has slowly been showing me Instagram direct messages she gets, emails from people coming out and saying how much it us helps. being so open has, has helped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, with the podcast and Yeah, stuff, with the podcast yeah. and everything. So that's given me motivation to continue to be open about it because originally I was like, how are we going to help people? Yeah. She's like, I'm telling you it can. Yeah, I'm like, I promise you, there's silver lining. People want to know that like, you can, if you really, if two people work yes. together, that they can do it. And that's, yes. you know, and you, that's mm -hmm. the great thing when you said like, if two people truly work, like we can show people that have hope and not just to, because it's so easy to get divorced these days. I mean, yeah. I've been divorced before. It's just mm -hmm. so easy mm -hmm. to just run from your problems. And that's what I've always done. I'm like, I want to sit in the middle and have, stuff flying at me and and work yeah. through our problems there's Guys, so much we want to talk so about much. i mean honestly, we, need, yeah. we need more you know. therapy here too. Yeah. we hold on we're gonna bring you guys back we need more with you guys but yeah but mike and janet you guys are so brave for telling your story Absolutely. i really appreciate that you could check out their podcast wind down with janet and good luck with the baby boy yes. 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 she was three weeks pregnant she she's said not. three weeks she's i didn't know do